Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Noel and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of water cycle. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 6. The graph shows the rate of evaporation of water in the container over a period of time. And which of the following are possible reasons for the changes in the rate of evaporation as shown in this graph? Before we explore the possible reasons, let's first recall the factors of evaporation. Do you remember the factors of evaporation? Well, we use the acronym WET to help us remember. And how do we spell WET? W E T. And what does W stand for? It stands for wind. And E stands for exposed surface area. And T stands for temperature. And temperature could actually be referring to two things. Firstly, it could be referring to the temperature of the surrounding, or it could also be referring to the temperature of the water. Now that we are done recalling the factors of evaporation, let's take a look at the graph on the right. What is the graph trying to show us? The graph is trying to show us how the rate of evaporation of water changed over time. And what we need to do is to figure out how did the rate of evaporation change, meaning did the rate of evaporation increase, decrease, or remain the same. And then figure out what are the factors that resulted in this change in the rate of evaporation. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the start of the graph, which is from point P to point Q. Did the line increase or decrease? The line increased. What does this tell you about the rate of evaporation? Did the rate of evaporation increase or decrease? Increase. And what could have caused an increase in the rate of evaporation? It could be due to the factors of evaporation that we have recapped just now. So what I'm going to do now is to write down the acronym on top of the line. Okay, and figure out what must change in these factors to result in an increase in the rate of evaporation. Let's take a look at the first factor, which is W. And W stands for wind. And in order for you to increase the rate of evaporation, would you want the speed of wind to increase or decrease? You will want the speed of wind to increase. And what do you think can be done to increase the speed of wind? Maybe we could add a fan in front of the container of water, or we could increase the speed of any existing fans. Next, E, which stands for exposed surface area of water. And to increase the rate of evaporation, would you want the exposed surface area of water to increase or decrease? You want it to increase. Now, I will ask you the same question as just now. What do you think can be done for us to increase the exposed surface area of water? Some of you might tell me, or oh, add more water into the container. Okay, let's see together if that works. On the left, you have the water in the container. And do you guys still remember which part of the water is going to evaporate? the surface of the water that is exposed to the surrounding air. And now I'm going to add in more water and this will cause the water level to increase or decrease. This will cause the water level to increase. Which part of the water is going to evaporate? It is the surface of the water that is exposed to the surroundings. Comparing the purple line and the pink line, which represent the exposed surface area of water. Did it change? No, right? It actually remained the same. So do you think adding water is going to increase the exposed surface area of water? It is not going to. So what can we do? Maybe you have to pour the water into a bigger container. Or well, now I have a container that is extremely big and I'm going to pour the water into this larger container. And what you will realize is that the water is spreading out over a larger area. Okay, and remember, only the surface of the water exposed to the surrounding is going to evaporate. Okay, which is this part. Did the exposed surface area of water increase? Yes. And ESA stands for exposed surface area. So now we know that in order for us to increase the exposed surface area of water, we need to pour the water into a larger container. But for this particular experiment, was a bigger container used? No, right? Throughout the entire experiment, we only use one container. So is it possible for us to change the exposed surface area of water for this experiment? Not possible. Okay, so this is why I am going to cancel out 
E from the factors since we cannot change the exposed surface area of water. Next, let's take a look at T, which stands for temperature. In order to increase the rate of evaporation, would you want to increase or decrease temperature? You would want to increase temperature. And remember, temperature could refer to the temperature of the surrounding air or the temperature of the water itself. Okay, so if you want the rate of evaporation to increase, you will need speed of wind to increase. You will also need the temperature to increase. Next, let's take a look at point Q to point R. Did the line increase or decrease? The line increased. So what does this tell you about the rate of evaporation? Rate of evaporation increased. And remember, after we have figured out if the rate of evaporation increased or decreased, what do we write on top of the line? We write down the factors, okay, which is WET. And which factor do we cancel out? We cancel out exposed surface area of water. Okay, and as we have mentioned before, in order for the rate of evaporation to increase, should the speed of wind increase or decrease? Speed of wind should increase. And what about temperature? Temperature should increase. Next, let's take a look at point R to point S. Did the line increase or decrease? The line decreased. And what does this tell you about the rate of evaporation? Rate of evaporation decreased. Okay, same thing, I'm going to write down the factors on top. And which factor do we cancel out? Exposed surface area. Okay, so now let's think about it again. To decrease the rate of evaporation, should the wind speed increase or decrease? Wind speed should decrease. What about temperature? Temperature should decrease. Next, let's move on to point S to point T. Did the line increase or decrease? The line increased. So what does this tell you about the rate of evaporation? Rate of evaporation increased. And same thing, I am going to write down the factors on top. And I'm going to cancel out exposed surface area. And by now we should know, if we want to increase the rate of evaporation, wind speed should increase, and then temperature should increase as well. Now that we are done analyzing the graph, let's take a look at the statements below. Statement A. During PQ, some water was removed from the container. When you are removing water, what property of water are you trying to change? You are trying to change the, starts with V, the volume of water. And by removing water, are you increasing or decreasing the volume? Decreasing the volume. And is volume a factor of evaporation? Well, there's no V here, right? Therefore, volume is not a factor of evaporation. I will use this E with a circle to represent evaporation. If volume is not a factor of evaporation, does changing the volume affect the rate of evaporation? It does not. Therefore, the rate of evaporation remains the same. And is it true that from P to Q, the rate of evaporation remained the same? It actually increased. So this means that statement A is wrong. Next, let's take a look at statement B. During ST, there was an increase in the speed of wind. So the factor we are looking at here is wind. And it says that there was an increase in the speed of wind. So do we look for an upward or downward arrow? We look for an upward arrow. Okay, so where is ST on the graph? Over here. And where is wind? W, right? Is there an upward arrow beside it? Yes. So this is why statement B is correct. Next, let's take a look at statement C. During QR, there was an increase in the exposed surface area of water. And what factor are we looking at here? Exposed surface area of water. And what did we discuss just now? Is it possible for us to increase the exposed surface area of water for this experiment? Not possible. Why? Because we are using the same container throughout. So I am going to cross out increase and write the word same below it. So statement C is wrong. Next, let's take a look at statement D during RS. There was a decrease in the temperature of the surrounding air. And what factor are we looking at here? Temperature. And there was a decrease in the temperature of surrounding air. So do we look for the upward or downward arrow? We look for the downward arrow. Okay, so where is RS on the graph? And we look for temperature, right? Is there a downward arrow? Yes. So this is why statement D is correct. And since we are finding out the possible reasons for the change in the rate of evaporation, do we look for the ticks or the crosses? We look for the ticks, which is statement B and D. Therefore, the answer is option 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.
Bye.